Hello, YouTubers. It's John again. Um, so, as you notice, the case of my phone is off. That way, you guys can actually see, you know, to me a little bit better. Um, well, we have a new addition to our family. We have two wonderful um, chihuahuas. <laughs> so we have two cats and Two chihuahuas. Hope everyone's having a good day. I got the job at Walmart. I'm just waiting back on the uh, background check. Um, I could possibly be starting work uh, next Friday. Which is good. Um, I'm happy that things are going to start looking up. I have an extra income and stuff like that. Um, sorry I didn't make a video yesterday. Uh, the reason why was, it was... It was a pretty long day for me. I hope everyone's having a good day. So, for all you Nitro Nation lovers, uh, they just came out with a new update. And uh, one of the new cars is a... CTSV Cadillac. Nice car. Really nice. Um, just stock. Uh, and a fourth mile it goes 120. Uh, it's crazy. It really is. Um, don't know how long this video is going to be today or anything. Uh, I'm just chilling, relaxing. Um, really not too much to talk about today. It's one of those blah days. Um, I'm really excited that I'm going to actually be able to provide for my family. Uh, much more than what I'm doing now. As most of you know from my last video, my la well, my other videos, um, I said that I was on SSI. Yeah, um, I don't see that panning out too well. So you know, I had to have a backup plan because if I didn't, you know. Um, I'd be, I'd be in trouble, uh, possibly losing my family and things like that. Um, I really don't want that to happen. Uh, so that's why I decided, you know, it's time to step up, be a man and do what I need to do in order to make sure that 
my daughter and my girlfriend have a stable home and have, you know, a steady paycheck coming in. I think it's, uh, you know, much better than just sitting around doing nothing. Um, I could get anywhere from 32 to uh, 40 hours per week, uh, even, possibly even more. I haven't posted anything to Facebook about me getting this job. Um, I'm not sure why I haven't. I just haven't. Um, just didn't, you know, like, feel like it. So one of these days, uh, I plan on making a video where I'm Skyping with my friend Mike. Uh, if I have any new followers, new viewers, uh, check out his videos. They're pretty cool as well. Um, it's uh, Mike's channel. Okay, that's good. I'm sneezing. Oh. Not better. You okay? Yeah. Good. I'm better. So yeah, nothing's really going on today. Um, woke up with like quite a bit of heartburn, and my girlfriend. Uh, didn't let me know this, and I didn't even notice it. For some reason my taste buds were off, but uh, I was drinking pink lemonade. It was like a mix or something like that. And uh, it, uh, well, let's just say that pink lemonade is you know, one of those things that uh, I don't like to drink. I don't know what it was about me drinking it, but I don't know how I didn't notice it. But anyway, I hope you guys had a good day yesterday. Um, like I said, I, I had a good day. Uh, maybe getting paid 9.75 an hour plus overtime overtime is like $14 and 62 cents which is pretty cool <clears throat> um, not to go off subject or anything but uh, Dallas yesterday signed a defensive end uh, his last name is Moyoa. I can't remember his... I think it's like Cedric Mayoa. He's supposed to be uh, one heck of a defensive end. I believe they picked him up uh, from the Raiders. What do you guys think about... Um, the Los Angeles Rams. Um, I knew a long time ago that they were that Los Angeles had a football team like that, but now um, maybe the change will definitely do better for them. I don't know. Um, So, I thought spring was here. Well, it turns out that this is our spring. Well, 
the start of it anyway. Yeah, not too happy about that. I didn't think that that was going to happen. Um, I thought, you know, we had some temperatures, you know, in the 50s. And uh, one day, I think it was almost like 63. And that's cr just crazy. Um, so, messages received from Mike's work. I hoped I didn't uh, actually record the video, record, but uh, yeah, my phone talks to me, basically lets me know when I have messages, <laughs> text messages. Um, yeah, I'm just using my phone <laughs> um, for YouTube. Um, I don't really have the money right now to buy a camcorder or anything like that but uh, my buddy Mike is actually supposed to uh, be getting a newer camcorder so he may hook me up with his old one which would be cool um, I could show you guys uh, Nitric Nation you know shit like that um, as you can see, I, I try my best not to swear in my videos. Um, maybe once in a while uh, it might happen because, you know, it all depends on the day. <sighs> but uh, I do apologize for any swearing that does occur. Uh, especially you young viewers. Um, so yeah, I'm just relaxing. Uh, feel much better about doing videos now. Um, I'm going to try my best to do a video every day, maybe two. Uh, but when I start working, it's going to be off and on, you know, just to keep you up to date on, you know, whatever, whatever's going on. Um, anyway, you young viewers, don't start smoking. Sorry, Mike, I, I know that you mentioned this in one of your videos as well. Um, don't start smoking. It's it's a bad habit. Um, it's just something that you don't want to do. And probably asking, so why are you doing it? <clears throat> well... For you young viewers, it's it all has to do with stress. There's other ways to deal with stress, but later, earlier in my life, I didn't have ways to deal with my stress. Yes, I played football and everything, and no, I wasn't smoking then. <clears throat> I didn't actually start smoking until I was twenty about oh, twenty years old. I'm thirty now. So I've been smoking for ten years. And let me tell you, it it does uh 
it does affect you. So all you young viewers, please, please don't smoke. It's not good for you. You get addicted. I mean, you do almost anything for a cigarette. Um, I mean, there's people out there that literally go out on the, to the street and just pick up butts and smoke them. Don't do that. Because <clears throat> you never know what diseases are out there that you could catch. Um, I know I shouldn't even be smoking in my videos, but it's a social thing, to be honest with you. Um, that doesn't mean you young viewers do it. Especially if you have a YouTube or something like that. Or you post videos. Uh, it's not suggested. If you're over the age of 18, you know, <clears throat> that's totally up to you. Uh, you know, um, I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> Your parents might, but I'm not. I just, uh, I was just throwing out there that, you know, smoking is bad for you. So it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty nice day, I guess, considering you know, what I showed you for the weather, snow, ugh, I hate that stuff, I cannot wait until it's completely gone, not only snow, but ice and sleet and all that fun stuff, it's just discouraging, it really is, when you think that spring's here and it's not, this is the north country, Nothing ever seems to want to, you know, <clears throat> stop. Especially uh, this kind of weather. Uh, in the summer, um, they vary. Sometimes it's 60, maybe 70. Sometimes it's just downright hot. Uh, for you people down south and everything, this isn't hot to you guys. This is cold. This is damn cold. But yeah, I'm jumping all over my video here. Um... <clears throat> so this season coming up for Dallas, uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good season, to be honest with you. Um, the draft will be coming up soon. Hopefully they pick up uh, somebody that, um, that can make an impact. Um, Tony Romo had his surgery for his clavicle and now he has like a steel clavicle or something like that and uh i i don't know what to think uh you know you should have got them both basically done and just instead of, instead of just one because what happens if the other clavicle goes <laughs> um Luckily, we're going to have, uh, well, we are going to have, uh, 
RG3 as the backup quarterback, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'm not quite sure if we are or not, but it's looking that way. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, look up on YouTube and uh, check out um, that that uh, that player that I was talking about, Mayo or Mayo or whatever his name is. Um, He's a good defensive end. So, anyway. Uh, I believe baseball season has started. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I just hope that uh, the New York Yankees do better than they did last year because that was just uh, just something else. <clears throat> I didn't really follow them too much last year. Um, I am a football fanatic and you guys are going to see that when I start making videos about um, about certain situations, um, whether you know Dallas loses or they win, I'm always going to be posting videos up about that. Um, win or lose, I'm diehard. Um, Dallas uh, hasn't been as good as when Emmett Smith and Mike Lurvin and Troy Aikman and uh, the Moose Johnson, Daryl Johnston, was playing for him and, and everything else. Um, I'm hoping that this season um, it happens. We also got a new running back, too. Uh, I can't think of his... His last name is Morris. Uh, he played for the Washington Redskins. So hopefully Morris will do something good. I, I heard talks about uh, Dallas possibly uh, picking up uh, DeMarco Murray again. Um, DeMarco Murray, he thought about the money more than he did the yards. Because we have one of the best offensive players offensive lines in the game honestly I mean <laughs> most of them went to the Pro Bowl this year and uh, I'm sure that uh, they're just gonna keep improving and improving the run game hopefully is better than it was last year there's a lot of injuries to key players that really made an impact and one of the impacts um, that I thought was the was um, one of the how do I say this one of the worst impacts was when Tony Romo got injured. You know, he started winning games before that. And we were doing really well until he got injured. And then everything just seemed to spiral out of control. And then Tony Romo comes back after his injury. And he started winning again. 
and then he relapsed and <laughs> got another injury. Uh, that's that's the NFL for you. Um, if you ever want to play in the NFL, you basically have to make sure and be conditioned really well. Um, if you're not, then <sighs> you're not going to do well. You're going to be injured more than you are anything else. Um, yeah, I played football in my um, in 11th grade. Well, I played before that as well. I played I played modified and in junior varsity. And then I moved from JV to varsity and uh, I didn't do too bad. Coaches never really gave me a chance, considering my size. <sighs> but I do have to say, I don't know if you guys know him or not, but his name's Brian Leonard. Well... <clears throat> I just joined the varsity, and they're playing against Brian Leonard. He played for the um, Governor Wildcats, and he was phenomenal. He really was, and he broke he broke records. And I do have to say, the one time that they let me play. Um, on varsity level, I actually was helping tackle Brian Leonard, which was very hard to do. I mean, for a guy that weighs only, weighed only 120 pounds, yeah, um, I mean, this dude, he had to be... I think he was six foot something, um, 200, 200 some pounds at least for a running back. That boy can move. Um, if you didn't follow Brian Leonard, he went to Rutgers University and uh, he's playing there. And uh, he had some kind of knee or ankle injury or something like that. And then he was drafted by the... Uh, uh,